What we're here to do today is to honor Shashwat for its pioneering work in its own state in a ceremony presided over by the distinguished chief minister. With Shashwat's support, tribal farmers and fish workers have conserved forest resources and they've adopted land use practices in the dam catchment that are directly contributing to environmental sustainability. The results of Sashwat's work are truly impressive. We have come to a developmental paradigm where uh, government action alone will not suffice. As a matter of fact, government action is not very efficient in delivering benefits to the society. But the success story out of this drought is a huge voluntary action by local people to desilt the water bodies. I think the example of uh, Dimbe Dam, Shashwat will tell us that small efforts, however small, if they involve local communities and if they are nurtured by uh, people using market mechanism at times, uh, by technology, appropriate technology, by um, modern management practices, for sustainable development and uh, appropriate state intervention were required. If all this is used in right mix, I think the speed of development and speed of sustainable development so that we don't develop today at the cost of tomorrow, I think that will become a reality. These unsung heroes who are quietly working in different corners of the state different corners of the country, different corners of the world are being recognized by UNDP and the organization which have contributed to the Equator Award. <coughs> and after a thorough search and a selection by a jury among hundreds of applicants uh, and hundreds of nominations, these 25 community organizations have been selected and we are very proud that one of them happens to be from our state. Sashwat. <clears throat> in 2006, in the first year which the uh, fisheries cooperative uh, took the dam in its uh, control, the Indian major carps, Rahu, Katlam, Rigal, the large fish, the total catch, annual catch of the year was 3 tons, this year it is 27 tons. <coughs> was the commissioner <coughs> more than 500 uh, women's names were put on to the land records as co-owners of uh, their husband's property we suggest to close involvement of the people in um, protected area management in uh, forest management because they have shown that for the past 800 years or the 1000 years they have, they have uh, preserved not one sacred grove but more than 20 sacred groves in that area.